Hi everyone, Ryan Flugar here, Vice President for the National Association for Gun Rights, coming to you with a major development in our lawsuits against the assault weapons ban in Illinois. Today, the United States Supreme Court took the significant action of intervening in our case against the city of Naperville's assault weapons ban. This is a huge development. As you may have seen in our previous video, we filed for an emergency application to Justice Amy Coney Barrett, who oversees the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals just last week. We asked her to consider an injunction pending appellate review. Basically, that means to stop this ban from being enforced right now. This is something the District Court and the Seventh Circuit have not yet been willing to do, which is why we appealed on an emergency basis to Justice Barrett and the Supreme Court. The good news, she has agreed, at least in so far, to request the city of Naperville explain to the Supreme Court why they should not grant our request. This is one of the first indications after the Bruin decision last year on the Supreme Court's willingness to enforce its prior ruling by scrutinizing these unconstitutional bans on entire classes of firearms, including the most popular rifle in America. The city of Naperville has until noon on Monday, May 8th, to respond to Justice Barrett. And they also have a new city council, which just took office today and has quite the decision to make on whether or not they want to continue trying to persecute law-abiding gun owners. If ultimately granted by the Supreme Court, this injunction will grant an emergency temporary relief for all gun owners in Naperville, including the gun store owner, Robert Beavis, whose livelihood has been severely impacted by both the state and local assault weapons ban. Mr. Beavis, who is our plaintiff in this case, faces the loss of his business if a relief is not swiftly granted. Basically, his shop is one of the only gun shops in Illinois not legally able to sell ordinary semi-automatic firearms right now. That's because there are two cases against the statewide assault weapons ban moving at the moment. There's our case against Naperville in the Federal Northern District Court of Illinois, which is now against both the Naperville ban and the statewide ban because the anti-gun Illinois Attorney General has injected himself into that case. There's also a case moving in the Federal Southern District of Illinois. In our case, we drew a Bush-appointed judge who gave us a deeply flawed ruling in our effort to get an injunction against the Naperville ban. However, the Trump-appointed judge in the Southern District did faithfully apply the Bruin decision and implemented an injunction against the statewide ban pending further litigation. Right now, it's legal to buy and sell ordinary semi-automatic rifles everywhere in Illinois, except in Naperville, because the city ban is not affected by the good ruling in the Southern District. That's why we filed this appeal. Think about it. This gun shop owner is literally, he literally has everything on the line right now, and he'll be run out of business if we don't stop both the state ban and the municipal ban. That'll be the outcome. So Justice Barrett's interest in this case is an extremely encouraging development. It signals not only hope for Robert Beavis and his gun shop, but also all gunners across Naperville and Illinois. And if ultimately successful, a Supreme Court action to grant this relief will be a major blow to the so-called assault weapons bans that are all happening all across the country, especially for folks in Washington State and Oregon and Delaware. You folks have seen this firsthand in the last year. And also in the six other states that the National Association for Gun Rights is currently suing in to overturn longstanding assault weapons bans in places like Hawaii, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, and elsewhere. If you'd like to know more about our cases and our efforts to overturn these assault weapons bans, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel. You can also follow us at gunrights.org and follow us on Twitter and social media also. Thank you very much and God bless.